Hello. Are you sick and tired of copying other people's scripts on Roblox? Do you want to learn how to make your own script? Well, I'm tired of copying other people's scripts also. So I am learning how to script on Roblox. And I'm sharing what I'm learning with you. I will also try my best to explain it all when we are finished putting down the script. Today I'll be t t telling, showing, slash teaching you how to make a, as obviously you probably know in the title, a banned script. So ban people and they will probably say something like they've lost connection to the game. The example here. The example here that I've got for you is a game called Family Guy Quiz. Fan Quiz. Family Guy Fan Quiz. Sorry about that. Uh, that's me and someone else are currently making. I'm scripting on it and it will basically just say to you that you have lost connection to the game. Oh, sorry, the game has shut down. It will say that every time you try to come on, uh, sort of like you are being kicked, but just, just about to be banned. So let's get back to the actual scripting. So let's get started with the scripting. First, what you're going to want to do is type in banned players. All one word, capital is B and the P, and equals, and then the curly bracket, player, and then the, and then the um, speech marks, player 1, speech marks again, comma, speech marks again, player See your scan, but you can put your own names in there. I'm just doing examples. Then I'll go to player three. Then at the end, just put the put a, another curly bracket, and then go two lines down. Now you're going to type in game dot players dot player added dot oh well name sorry then colon connect brackets function uh, another bracket but to an open bracket type in player close bracket next line uh, type in wait one second this a little error then type in repeat then wait open and close brackets and, and then type in until player uh, dot character now the next line down type in for k comma v in pairs Then bracket open brackets band players and then close the brackets. Then do next line. Then what we're going to do is press enter. Then we're going to do an if statement. So if player dot name two equals, which means equals two v, then another enter player colon capital D full and then destroy open and close brackets now then we want to go press enter again but then do a backspace type end do the same again press enter then backspace type in end then do it one more time press enter backspace end but with this time a bracket at the end then all you want to do is save that and publish it to your Roblox and test it out and it should work. If you've got any questions just let me know in the description or anything. And if if you like this then you should watch so another video I'm going to make is how to make a kick kitch list which kicks the person out of the game. And then we'll probably do some more tutorials and scripting after that. Thanks for watching guys, hope it helped. Goodbye. Just kidding. Um, I was going to explain till. Right. So, band player.
which is the band player slash people and equals in this part means uh, that the curly bracket is adding the names along with the open and closed speech marks when you put the player into those speech marks it's adding the person so that's the player uh, as username and the comma I'm not entirely sure what it's there for maybe to separate it all I'm not sure the games that players the game that players that player added connect bracket function bracket player close bracket but the game is the game that you are scripting right now the plays is right down here so the plays part where the players the player added is the player who's just joined right now that's also going to be on your list at the top here where it's plus player the connect is where the person is connected so the play is just connected and it's just been play has just been added now you need to make the function for the player and you repeat it all for the over and over again so every time they join and then for case comma v is is what um a band player is the band player is is like it's the um variable I think it's I'm not sure if that's the right word but it's like x equals y or x equals one or whatever like that I'll probably put a link in the description but it's on the um, Lua that I'm learning on as well probably do better but it's like x equals y so if you see player at the bottom if player dot name so that's the player's name is e two equals is equal to so equal to v which is the v for band players then player colon destroy so you destroy a player which is i think what made it um shut down the game for that be only user which is quite good so that's seems complicated but it's not really once you get the hang of it ish it will all make sense and you'll become like english or something like that so be quite simple because you've got player equal to v it's just like maths x equals y times v or something like that it's actually really simple so once you've done that you just press end which ends the function that you just created which is this one why is so the reason the last end has the bracket is because you never close the function here that's because you all this is the function is all the function what these two ends for I'm not entirely sure I cannot remember I think it's for all these things over here I'm not that oops did that work yes I think it did but yeah anyway so it's actually quite simple if it makes sense it's just like broken down into words so player added player has been added because it's connected player added is because the player is connected and then you've got the then the function you're making a function that goes to the games the player thing then the function when you're making a function you putting the function where you want it to be so you want it to be with the player which is players down here which is quite simple then you're repeating it you're waiting not waiting actually and then until play character and it goes all the way down to here to destroy to play character 4k band players do if player dot name equals do v then player destroy until all that happens it ends the function ends the script lets it know that it's all done it's quite weird to get the hang of but it's actually quite simple once you just understand the ifs and variables and stuff like that ifs and thens and do then for then repeat until and pairs stuff like that is actually really simple so that's about it goodbye not messing this time